relocate to Atlanta, Georgia to chase their dreams. They all work extremely hard to become the next big thing. We've been busy shooting. Girl, been yes. Busy shooting. <laughs> Networking across is definitely the way to go in order to climb the ladder of success in this industry. Uh, all right, so look, I know I've been saying I've been on the way for a minute, but keep real with you, I gotta cancel. I just, I got some stuff going on at home. We haven't even finished the first date. What makes you think that you have any right to mention anything about my daughter's life? Street nigga trying to maintain. Go to baby trying to stay up in my lane. If I'm gonna work with anybody, I just feel like I gotta be able to be honest with somebody, just like I would want somebody to be honest with me. I try to mix it up, you know what I'm saying? Try nah, nah, different. bro, you sound like you playing, bro. You sound like you playing. However, whenever striving for goals beyond your reach, life's problems are bound to surface. Robin is getting on my goddamn nerves talking about this damn improv. <laughs> yeah, so we had the photo shoot and my ex walks in. Hey, let me see this outfit. Let me see. The seat, I don't the give seat, a fuck by none of that, that seat, bro. Because my nigga did and kind of won't really turn up right now, bro. That's why nobody's saying shit before I leave, nigga. Yeah, so I'm just all about being a boss. Like, I just want to live lavish. Hey, I live... Take this? Who, me? Yeah, this is While we rolling? Yeah, it's not with your car. What you mean with my car? Hello? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, hell no. Nah. You capping. Please stop. Stop. What the fuck are you fucking talking about? I know you ain't fucking crashed my shit. Hell, cut this shit off. Cut this shit off. Cut it off. I just love that we black, we're young, and we're on our shit. Going up. I'm moving way, way, way up. Going up. Way, way, way up. Going up. I'm moving way, 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 yeah. We on the move. girl Artasia Olivia what's good I am from Jacksonville Florida I'm 25 years old and I am a filmmaker screenwriter producer director entrepreneur oh and nurse <laughs> if I gotta do it I'ma do the most you say pay to see a show got the south overflow but I feel like it's been so long since we talked. Like, how have you been? You've been busy shooting. Girl, been yes. Busy shooting. <laughs> With my production company, like, writing. I'm actually about to get, like, this film grant. Like, I'm working with this film investor or whatever. I moved to Atlanta, Georgia, just to chase my filmmaking dreams. Like, I dream of being, like, the next Issa Rae or the next Ava DuVernay or, shoot, the next Tyler Perry, but a prettier version, of course. <laughs> I I just came here to chase my dreams and be the next big thing. I just really want to like inspire people with like my art and right. stuff. Exactly, as you should. How you been? I'm good, you know. Acting, um, I left the club scene job, you know, being a bartender, I mean, uh, um, what was I, a freaking bottle girl there. Oh, okay. I didn't like it, um, so I just- You like being a bottle girl? No, I didn't, it was very rude. They, they were very rude, disrespectful. Oh, okay. And I think I was chasing money instead of chasing the reason I came to Atlanta in the first uh -huh. place. Hi guys, my name is Robin Gibson. I am 25 years old. I'm an actress from Los Angeles, California. I moved out to um, Atlanta, Georgia for acting purposes. You know, it was just a lot of us that own things here. So everything about us black African-American, you know, producers, directors, and I just loved it. So that's the reason why I came and stayed in Atlanta. Networking has been amazing. Um, I'm working with Sean Sinclair right now on the show. Okay. We're currently writing, so like, I'm Welcome my to the director. dark side, okay. <laughs> You know, I'm getting into it. Yes, so I'm getting excited. on the crew side and it's not just being on the camera. Um, yeah. you know, I like both. I think acting is will forever be my baby, but I want to tell the stories also mm -hmm. and have something to do with the writing. Because every time I see a show or a movie, I'll be like, 
Yes, no, exactly. Like I could have wrote that way better, right. and that's why I started my production company. So I have a production company called ALS Now Entertainment. Follow us on Instagram and everything else. My production company. We shoot everything I write. So all the scripts that I write, everything that I come up with and create, we shoot. Can we sit down real quick? Cause I'm tired. <laughs> Ugh. I got white on. Why you be all right? <laughs> so, but yes, I'm trying to see like who I really want to invite to this pool party. You know, I'm thinking about inviting Lee. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh Lord. Are you sure you want to do that? Why you yeah, I used to talk. I know, but like we cool or whatever, and he's a creative, like he trying to rap, you know. Mm. I feel like we both like can Did y'all like, end <laughs> off in good stairs, At first we didn't because we got into it about like me being in a relationship now, you know, I'm with Josh or whatever, so. Cute. We kind of got into it about that, but at the end of the day, he did come back and apologize, mm -hmm. and he was just kind of like, he was overstepping his boundaries, so we right. did clear the air because we've been friends for so long before we started talking so but he didn't even want anything serious right yeah he wanted men are weird like how you gonna be mad if you didn't exactly want like first of all how you mad that you know <laughs> i found somebody that makes that, you happy yeah. that should be the end goal right exactly and we was going back and forth about that and then he was just kind of like oh you know um you ain't gonna cheat Said so when he said that I went off like what the fuck I got, no I'm not gonna cheat on my nigga like okay well fuck? you know how I feel about um, cheating and men yeah. that think the way he does I wouldn't invite him but this is your party <laughs> I mean but we've been friends for so long so it's just like that's how we left off like a year ago and then like maybe a couple months later he did come back and apologize and okay, say okay, you know okay, okay. I was wrong like that right. was disrespectful right. I don't know I'm just I don't know how to feel to see Lee because it's been pretty awkward like the last couple times we've seen each other we've been good but before then like we had like a little thing going on like, a couple years ago and it just didn't go that well and he kind of like disrespected my relationship disrespected my man but i mean he apologized for everything and we got back on a good path like because he's still cool he's a another creative that moves to land to chase their dreams so we're cool but it's just like I'm never going to forget kind of like what happened in the past until we like really move past it for real for real you know what I mean so I don't know hopefully he, he don't build no drama or whatever but I'm still invite him I feel like he's still a good friend and I want y'all to meet him like y'all can network whatever stuff. if you really feel like trust your intuition yeah so everything is good I think like invite him yeah yeah, no drama. Right. Make sure your boyfriend's okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> he's so sweet. And I yes. will no problem talking to him. Of course. Of course. Like, I'm, I'm not finna embarrass my, my right. nigga or whatever. Or yourself. Like, of course. I told her that it's serious and I ain't never played. She ain't from around the way. Met her in the A. Pulled up on her first day. Said I couldn't stay. But I was capping. I was in it till the next day. Yeah, that's good, bro. Punch me in right there. Okay. Look, go up a little louder. Go a little bit a little louder. louder. Yeah, a little louder. And, hey, that's fine. Who you, who you talking about on there? Hey man, look, I'll be trying to make my bars real, bro. I'll be trying to make it realistic as possible. I might be talking about somebody, I might not. Hey, I love it, I love it. Keep it going, keep hey. grinding. Hey, we finna get this. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Iso Holmes. I'm on a move in Atlanta. I came out here like three years ago. You know what I'm saying? Uh, been putting in work, just networking with a lot of people in the music industry. I've been doing a lot. I've been recording since I was a teenager, you know, probably 16 in the studio. Uh, probably been writing since before that. Yeah, that shit hard. No, bro. Who you talking about in this song? Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I be trying to just be realistic with my shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I might be talking about somebody real. You know what I'm saying? Hey, keep grinding. I love it. We finna make it with this. Bro, man. for real. Hey, let me get this call real quick. Go ahead. Yo. Hey. Yo, what's up? What's up? Ain't nothing. I'm in the studio working right now. What's up with you? Okay. Um, not much. I was calling to invite you to this pool party I'm having. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's a it's a networking pool party. It's at my apartment, so you know, it's some real good people. I feel like you should definitely meet because you know I I feel like you got some real potential and 
you it's all about networking this industry is about who you know not what you know okay yeah that's facts yeah i definitely want to pull up because i've been looking for a move anyway so yeah this would be perfect i mean i know you came from philly whatever like right when i came here from jack so i just i, I just want to see you win Yo, I appreciate it. I feel the same for you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody out here working to try to get it. So right. Cool. We grinding. Yeah. Grinding. And that's something I could do better with, too, is the networking. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll pop out. I heard for sure, but no drama, okay? I don't need no fights, no arguments, nothing like that. Man, I don't know what you talking about with the drama. You know, I be cooling, you know? A little birdie told me something. I don't know who told you something. You know, I be cooling. You sure? Nah, I got you. It ain't gonna be no problems. Unless somebody makes it one, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't bringing it to nobody, though. <laughs> okay, we gonna see. I mean, I'll tell you what I heard when we get to the pool party. I just, I just want, you know, all peace and serenity. All right, well. <laughs> Nah, I'm, I'm just looking forward to you telling me. I was just thinking about it. All right, all right, I wonder what you heard. All right, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but I, I ain't gonna say nothing. Like, we just gonna, we gonna keep it moving. I'll talk to you about it at the pool party, but definitely come out, meet some good people, whatever. That sound like a bet. I'm gonna be there. All right, well, I hope you've been good. Have fun in the studio. I hope you've been good, too. I look forward to seeing you there. Hey, me and my man. We've been great. Oh, you got a man now? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, damn. I ain't know that. Well, now you know. And we're great. We're doing good. Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> okay. Bye. All right. Well, I'm going to hit you up. All right. Yeah, bro. I think you just talk shorty up, man. She just called me right now. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. That shit crazy, bro. That's how that life should be. I just manifested shorty through music. You feel me? Hey, all about who you know. Yeah. I'm finna go see her at this pool party, but she talking about she got a man now, so... I don't know what's up with that, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ball in my core, I step as a layer. My life like a movie, just keep moving. It's a trailer. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Conversations with DC. Now, normally, I will be talking about HBCU students, HBCU alums, HBCU, everything HBCU. But um, today, man, we are having a more serious conversation, man. Um, I have my dog, Mr. Kellen Marcus, in the building. What's going on, brother? You all right? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Now, not only do I have him in the building, I have two lovely, lovely ladies with me, y'all. Uh, from the Becoming of Her podcast, Miss Brittany and Miss Tiffany. What's going on? How y'all doing? Y'all looking amazing. Y'all looking lovely, looking lovely. <laughs> now, you know, I do kind of want to get into it. We all know that mental health is a major thing going right now. Um, we're bringing awareness to it. And in the industry, a lot of people don't talk about that. You know, we talk about the trauma from our, you know, our past lives, from growing up and things of that nature. But... It's like when you're an entertainer, when you're in this this major, major field of entertainment, it's kind of overlooked because people, they see the glitz and the glamour. They see Instagram, you know, they see TikTok and it's like, you know what? These people are, they good. They got it. But once again, they don't know that a lot of people out there just being all flaw anyway and faking it. So they're making it look good. But what's really going on the inside of, you know, the minds of entertainers? Do we really have it together? Or, I mean, are we battling like secretly? Like, what, what are y'all thoughts on that? Yo, what's good, man? I'm DC from Alabama originally, right? All right, I'm 33 years old. I moved to Atlanta to pursue modeling and acting. I've been doing it for 13 years. It's been doing pretty good for me. So yeah, I'm here in Atlanta. I'm trying to make it happen. You have to find a reason as to why you're doing this. Mm. Um, I know people say like, find your why. A lot of times they, they attach that to something else. You know what I mean? But I'm for myself, I'm one of the type of people is like, you know, why is it important for me to be in this position and where I am? And also like in speaking on mental health is like, why is my mental the way it is right now based on where I am in life? Because, you know, situations can change in an instant, whether it be for progressive or, you know, digressive situations. But it also kind of this industry, because you get so many yeses and no's, you get so many like you know you might get a yes and on your way there it might be a no so mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's just so many different things that you have to really i would say like gear yourself for what's going on y'all my name is kellen uh, 34 years old um 
I'm from Nashville, but I kind of feel like I'm Atlanta. I've been here for a long time, been here since like, I was like 11, 12, went to high school and all here. Professional working model and actor, um, just in the city collaborating with what I hope are people that are about progression and positivity, for real, for real. Okay, so, you know, how do you handle rejection? Because I feel like that causes a lot of mental strain on a lot of people because they go into an industry, they go into any field, mm -hmm. but they're not understanding how to really accept rejection because you're going to get rejected in this industry. You know, um, you know, speaking to you, I guess, more directly because of the whole acting thing and auditioning yeah. process and, you know, things of that nature. Um, how do you handle, how do you deal with it? Uh, to be honest, like, it's kind of in the moment thing, to be honest, because there have been some times where I might have gotten that no and it crushed me. There might have been times, like I said, that I might have gotten a no and it was like, you know, one of two ways. I might have been okay with it, but then, you know, you get those no's, you're like, ah, I'm cool with it. But deep down, you like, ah, it's bothered me. You feel me? So um, I tell people, especially when you're involved, like I was I was involved in sports. So like you learn early how to kind of have a short mind. Tell me about a it. Short mental. <laughs> um, just kind of letting things go. Um, so for me, it's just you have to make sure that you know hey something else like i'm working towards something so this might be a no right now but genuinely like when you're on this road you have to keep looking forward and that's about the best like, advice i can give you for real man um i definitely agree with all of y'all opinion i mean we <laughs> y'all dove right into it um, once again, though, mental health is a serious, serious thing. Um, and it got kind of heavy and deep in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a break real quick. Um, yeah, we'll be back, people. <laughs> That's my Yo, what's happening? Hey. What you got going on? I'm pretty good. Sitting over here with DC, talking. Hey, what's up? Our Tasia said, what's happening? What's happening? Trying to go? I don't mind. When, when is the party though? Y'all better go. I ain't playing with y'all. When is it? It's gonna be next Saturday. I'm gonna see if I can get my song body ready. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. I don't. Uh, I'd be a little iffy. His, his his. I'm saying his attitude would be a little shaky. That's all I'm saying. We'll be alright. We'll be good. We'll be there. We'll be good. We'll be there. We'll be there. Everyone good. will be on their best behavior. I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> Scouts on them. I'm for sure be there then. I'm gonna be there. I'll be there. Okay, I'm glad y'all gonna make it. I'll, I'll catch y'all at that time though. Okay, that's a bet then. Alright, bye. Well, I guess that's what we're doing on Saturday. Yeah. Saturday, <laughs> pool party. Pool party. <laughs> Water. Skin. Women. Drink. Bikini. Yeah. I look now. I, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I'm about to go about it. I'm going for the network. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your girl Robin, and I'm back to another video. So, I'm currently about to go to sleep. As you guys can see, I'm in my PJs. Um, but I'm trying to edit this video for you guys that I just recorded and just finished the last week of my life, which I'm so excited to share with you guys. Um, but I'm not on my look. computer, so. Yes, girl. What's this? Okay. Okay, what's that? Penny. Okay. Let me see. What's this? So being a single mom has had its challenges. <laughs> I can definitely say that. Um, it's ups and downs, but I absolutely love it. It has been 
interesting to say the least. Uh, my daughter is the reason that I live and breathe. And without her, I have no idea where I would be right now. She literally saved my life. And when I say that, I mean it. I was in the middle of a very depression, suicidal state um, when I had her. So it definitely changed um, a lot for me mentally. Um, still struggled, you know, as the years and as time went past, but she's definitely the reason that, you know, I'm still here. And as you guys can see, <laughs> she is super cute. <laughs> you got a reward. Bri ready? Yes. Passing 50 or more I ready math lessons this year. Yay. What is this? English or reading? Reading. Okay. Passing 50 or more I ready reading lessons. Okay, it paid off. Okay, heads. <laughs> Sister, like, you're welcome. Okay. Ooh. Hello, Asia. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, hey, Artasia. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, and I have even better news. Um, what? my business partner and I, we, we love the script. Oh, my gosh, really. <laughs> Yeah, I yes. know. We definitely really enjoyed the script. So we're going to have a meeting with the rest of our team. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll definitely, we're going to invest in it. Oh like we're going to talk numbers, yes. but we are in love. I have been pitching some of my scripts to the top agents, top managers, and even some big production companies. I can't say who I've been pitching to, but I'm pitching this one script and I might have a good deal. Like, I cannot believe it. It's so dope and I just been doing my thing with trying to get a deal for one of my scripts. Thank you yeah, we're so much. In love with I'm it. so glad y'all really liked it. Like, I worked so hard on that script. Like, you don't understand. So I'm so excited that you guys love it just as much as me and willing to invest in my talent, my crafts, and my business. So thank you so much. No, thank you. We love it. Yeah. We don't shoot features often. Mm -hmm. So we're very honored that the first feature that we will be shooting was written by a black woman. So yes. don't take that lightly. <laughs> this was an amazing script. Thank you so much. So you said we can set up a, another meeting to talk to actual numbers? Absolutely. And I'll be in contact with you. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Ms. Cassidy. Absolutely. And I'll, I'll shoot you an email and we'll be in touch, all right? You enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, bye. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, my script has been a freaking be invested in. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get ready for this damn pool party. I know it's tomorrow, but we still got a lot to do. Facts though, cuz she ain't gonna lie her way out of there. Hello? Hey! Yo, what up, what up? What you got going on? Been working as usual, studying lines, what's going on? I wish to hang out with you today. Come and see what you're doing. Well, I'm working, clearly, ma'am. <laughs> nah, I mean, I, I do want to hang up. I ain't gonna lie. I want to hang out, but um, I'm not gonna be able to because I am definitely tied over this script right now. Um, so you can we can go get a bite to eat or something. Nah, because like, you already know. Take away. You, you know how that you know how that is. Like one thing always leads to another. It's always it's gonna be longer than we anticipated to be. Yeah, I get it, but I really do want to see you. And I just really feel like you just can't make time 
I want to make time, I really do. But at the same time, I can't, look, this audition is super soon, right? And I can't, I, look, I can't screw it up. You know, it's crazy. You know, being in this profession, a lot of times, people want to hang out. And this particular young lady, she wanted to hang out. Now, the thing is, I had lines that I had to study, right? I'm telling her, I, like, well, I can't hang out right now. She gets an attitude. But that really kind of reminds me of why I can't deal with certain women on a certain level. I already know, we go out to eat, we don't have a few drinks, and the whole night just gonna get away. And there's a whole night I can be studying. Um, not even a hour, like you have the rest of the day. No, I'm not. It's not gonna be an hour though, you know that. I mean, let's be realistic. It's not gonna be an hour. As much as I would love it to be an hour, just go get something to eat, we gonna eat, we gonna drink, we gonna laugh, and before you know it, it's gonna be, it's over with. <laughs> so everything that I'm trying to do is gonna be over with. I'm a sports fan, so I kind of understand what athletes say as well. It's like, hey, I can only deal with a certain caliber of a woman because I'm on the road all the time, I'm practicing from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m., or you know, it may even extend to 7 p.m., and they really don't understand. So it's the same thing with me. I don't understand why she was acting like that, but she gotta be way more understandable. I, I really just can't deal with it. Hi, man. Uh, we, I mean, we're gonna kick it later, though. When is later? Whenever I'm done with this audition. So like, what you doing? Like, I'm getting the call. Hey, what's poppin', gang? Yo, what's good, Iso? Ain't shit, man. I'm at the gym, man. Getting in my rounds, man. What's up with you? Shit, I'm at the studio right now. All right, shit. Well, uh, I'm trying to come through, man. What, what you got going? I oh, shit, I got some shit. I just opened up. I, I made like two overs trying to get you on them shit. So I just called you. Nigga, that's a bet. I'm about to be on my way right after I leave here. Say swear, man. All right, man, I'm out here. Let's get it. Yo, when you hear yeah. the beast, you gonna go crazy, bro. That shit's hard. You already know, bro. I'm on my way right now. Let's get it. All right. All right. Yeah, so we at the photo shoot, man. I'm looking good. My clothes are fresh. Like the uh, stylist, the designer, uh, Uno, with fresh A. Like I'm, I'm feeling real good. Like it's been a minute since I've been able to be styled and have something that was, I felt like was catered towards me. And I mean, he just told me, you know, he was checking out what we had going on, and he delivered. It, it looked really, really good. The blue is it's matching my skin tone perfectly i got the the right shorts to go with it with the denim he had some other stuff that you know i gotta check that out and make sure i put that on too because well uh, yeah we, i might have to leave with an outfit or two if he cool with that all right Beautiful. you know we cute or whatever <laughs> you. what's this What's that? Legs? Yeah. Come on now. You didn't tell me you had a female model with you, did you? Yeah, so we had the photo shoot. I'm vibing with Robin. The designer style is saying everything is looking amazing on us. And my ex walks in. And I'm just like, what are you what are you doing here? Like she's here. Like I, I'm thinking like this gotta be a dream, but no, nah, like she's here right now in the flesh. And I don't know how to get this girl to leave. You know, it's like, how did you find me? Why you feel like you can dictate my career, what I got going on? Plus, this is Robin. This is my friend. You don't like Hi, what's Robin. Robin, Lex, but for real, like you 
did you not learn anything from when we were together? This is exactly why we are where we are, but I don't know. She not trying to hear that right now. And it look like she's, you know, it's demolition derby in here. Ain't this saying, shit corny? Show? Let me see this outfit. Let me see. Let me see what, what yes. they putting you in. Yo, no. Yo. Relax. No. Bro, what is you doing? Uh -uh. Stop. Uh -uh. Chill, man. Uh -uh. Watch out. Yeah. You going to have him come touch on, me? On, you going to have him touch I'll be, I'll be me? Back. You going to have him I'll touch be, me? Back. Back. Come come be quiet. Come be on. quiet, girl. Be quiet. Tripping, bro. Next time on On The Move Atlanta. So I'm throwing this networking pool party event. I think it's gonna be so cool to have other just young black people on their grind and on their hustle. I don't give a fuck by none of that, that bro. But that's it. Cause my nigga did. But that's that's kind of really turn up right now, bro. That's why nobody's saying shit before I leave, nigga. Nobody's saying shit.